conversation is circle. Hey! Hey there! Uh, welcome to Cooking on the Quarantine. I was just cleaning up for a show here. Um, boy, you really caught me off guard. Um, just listening to some tunes on my bump box here. I guess it was Attack of the 80s. I don't know. Um, this is my bump box. It's a blue one. And this is what I listen to in the uh, in the kitchen when I'm trying to make all the magic happen. So, well, it's been a crazy week, guys. 1,200 views on that social distancing cookout with, with Garrett Nagata. That's crazy. But you know what? I got some more crazy stuff going because today I'm going to shift gears just a smidge. Not much. Today we're going to use um, some locally sourced meats and I'm going to make a Kirk burger. Now, what is a Kirk burger? Folks, um, I used to work at Lee's Drive-In in Loganville. There was a Godfrey's meat market on the way there. And, uh, you know, you could pick up a local burger and here, I really don't know where you can do that. So I've always used whatever I can find. And I came down to the last thing, a burger in the freezer. I know guys, um, it's still 2020. We've got murder hornets and Jason cleaned out the rest of his freezer of meat. Now I still have some venison or deer meat or whatever you want to call it, but Stacy said she wanted a real burger and I didn't feel like going anywhere. So um, I got some locally sourced beef here from uh, Harris Robinette uh, meat processors down in Micro. Uh, these people actually live in the district where my wife works. They live in, in Edgecombe County and this is locally sourced meat and I haven't had locally sourced meat in a while. So I was kind of excited. Um, we're going to take a little bit of a trip here and I'm going to twist it. So now that I'm fully out of meat and I'm, you know, the, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting as much stuff as I can from the house with my containers. So I, I got some locally sourced um, fruits and vegetables, but today we're going to focus here on this burger. Now it's kind of cool because this guy, Patrick, he's like, come on down and tour the uh, processing facility sometime. Uh, I've got a smoker the size of your kitchen. Hey, that's all I had to say is a smoker the size of my kitchen. So I'm going to make a Kirk burger. Kirk is my father-in-law. He likes meat flavored meat. And that's what we're going to make in this burger today. This is a 85 to 90 uh, ground beef. It's grass fed. And I had a steak, folks. This is some good stuff. And I'm not just saying that to say it. So um, what we're going to do, and I got this recipe from um, my buddy Joe Nolte, who just got one of those fancy schmancy grills. Um, if anybody wants to give me a fancy schmancy grill, I'll be more than happy to take it. So, it's a little big. Here, we'll, we'll go like this. All right, so what he said was meat and, and seasonings. And I said, well, what kind of seasonings, Joe? He said, well, I like, um, you know, that uh, Montreal steak stuff and... I'm like, eh, how about we just do salt and pepper? That's exactly what my father-in-law would do. So we'll be right back because I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to put some salt and pepper on this stuff. Okay, so what I did was I threw the meat on the grill. I just added some salt and pepper and in about 10 minutes we'll be ready to make these crazy burgers. So I did something crazy the other day. I put
put some peaches on the grill. What I did was, it was real simple. Just a little salt on top and the, the regular peach and you, you put it on there and let it go. And it's almost like biting into a piece of candy. I know it's crazy, but you gotta try it. I went down to Oak Ridge Farms in Zebulon, North Carolina. I got this and got a bunch of stuff for some future shows. So we'll be right back. Man, it, it's so hot out here, it's like 98 degrees and I'm sweating. But uh, I was in the bottle shop and I saw this can. I thought that was kind of neat. I mean, look how colorful that is. It's called an Epiphanator. I wonder how many of these do I need to drink to have an Epiphany? I don't know, but you know, it's local and it's pretty good stuff. So let me cook this up and we'll be right back. All right, so um, I always have a problem with making sides because I always make meat and stuff like, what are the sides? Like it's a seven course meal. We're having meat. You can't just have that, you have to have vegetables. As my mother-in-law would say, where are your colors? Well, Linda, this is the second time that I've actually had colors in my food. And uh, I've got a regular cheeseburger here. I've got my grilled peach with a little bit of sea salt on top not a lot and fresh from my container garden heirloom tomatoes with salt and pepper now i've always been kind of strange when it comes to food but i like to try different foods i used to teach world cultures for years and one of the things that i found that i like is kimchi so i tried this you see that i talk about it it goes all to pieces. Kimchi is kind of like Korean sauerkraut, but it tastes different. Um, my friend Jason Snyder had a kimchi covered burger. I figured, you know what, I'll give it a shot. So there's my version. And uh, my wife likes a pizza burger, so this is a lot, little leftover from the uh, lasagna. I'm trying not to hit the peach here. So I've only got a little bit of sauce because that'd be pretty bad if I hit the uh, peach with a bunch of tomato sauce with my clean hands. So instead of having, you know, like... Uh, Tater tots, like I normally would. It's too hot. It, I mean, really. So let's let's give this thing a shot. That's good, Kirk. You'd love it. It's meat flavored meat. Kimchi makes it good, the sharp cheddar cheese. Um, let me try one of my $500 tomatoes here because there's no telling how much money we put into these tomatoes. Probably about 50 bucks, but you know. Damn, that's good. The sensors can get me, but damn, that's good. 
All right, now this 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 is the other weird one. Peach with a little bit of salt on it. Um, you know that skin just kind of falls off. Let's. All right, guys, that's how you got to do it. All right, a simple meal, nothing to it. I didn't add anything. This is meat flavored meat burger. Kirk, you're happy. Uh, a little healthy side and a little bit of dessert. Stay tuned. I'm going to be raffling off a bump box similar to that one um, for the My Sister's House Crisis Center here serving Nash and Edgecombe counties. It'll be $5 a chance. I will take Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. And for those of you snails that still use checks and cash, I will print out 100 tickets and they will be available locally here in Nash County. Stay tuned. Be kind. Be excellent to one another. Have a great day and I'll be back soon. Talk to you soon.